Another fight with that shrew of a niece. He's gone to the top floor to cool off, where it's quiet. Erhard dies. <clears throat> Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Indeed, I believe so. Ah.
find the barrister. Does he know General Turnbull is coming? Upstairs in his study. You know how he gets after his niece visits. He hates her, and she feels the same. Some family. Sounds like mine. was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. A friend to Jessie and the little girls. Then afterward, I made my name as a painter. Now, I'm obviously something much greater. If that satisfies you. Because you won't get more. I ought to just kill you. But I'm going to give you a warning for the sake of my sisters. We were very impressed with you once upon a time. Stay away from me. There are great changes coming, and I'll expect you not to interfere. I have influence in places you won't expect. 
But as for Arnold Timsch, do what you want. I won't hold a grudge. I'm done with him. Is that who you were looking for? Well, she's a bit of a bitch. And the artwork's hopeless. I know you have your reasons. sister and brother are both here and doing well. Your last will and testament has been written and approved. We all love you, mother. Now go back to sleep. Rest.
strange. Timch doesn't name himself the beneficiary in the will. He's giving the inheritance to Delilah. That horrible stench. <gasps> I can... And we are. The neighborhood is swept three times a week. Barrister Timpsh! Please, call me Arnold. We're friends. Here. This will clear things up for you. The Regents arranged it. By the way, I don't think I ever got your first name. What is this? Is this a joke? I am not sure what you find funny about it. Barrister Tim. This is a letter from the Lord Regent dated a month ago. Stating that your building is to be seized by the state immediately due to massive infection outbreak. And that your personal assets are forfeit if you do not comply immediately. A month ago? Are you showing me this to try to convince me that you're above the law? What? Let me see that. This... this is impossible! I, I, I... Barrister, I am afraid I am going to have to take you into custody. And if I or any of my men contract the plague because of this visit, I'll see that your head rolls. No, no, no! This isn't the right document! This... Get him out of here before he starts bleeding from the eyes. And secure this court! It's under quarantine. Yes, sir. He fainted. Now what? I don't want to touch him. What if I get sick? I'll just... wait for him to wake up. Still missing. Any person with information that leads to her will be granted a substantial reward.
area is up. Lockdown. Unauthorized individuals are to be considered suspicious and confronted immediately with lethal force. The barrister's enemies caught up to him. He's in custody as a plague victim. Here's the will as agreed. That'll do nicely. Perhaps better. But you were promised information. Well, my uncle came under Delilah's spell. He was obsessed with her. Everyone knew she'd been a servant at the tower before she studied under Sokolov. She was a painter, an artist. Beneath my family's class, for certain. My uncle became infatuated. But he looked older, and made us keep candles lit all night. He was afraid of the dark. One night we all went to Waverly Boyle's for a seance. It was an amusement. We didn't know what we were doing. I thought only the dead appeared at seances. But suddenly Delilah was in the room with us. My uncle nearly died of terror. She was there, but not there. We saw her as if she was very far away, standing in the old Brigmore Manor, painting at an easel, painting a name. It was your name, Dowd. That's all I know. I hope you find what you're looking for. Prison if they don't send him to the flooded district. It's poetic, I suppose. Maybe I was wrong about you, Dowd. Are you ready to go? Let's go home. Jessamine Colbin's hands were all that was holding this city together. With her dead, this city was a fast, disintegrating web of guardsmen, overseers, nobles, weepers. Maybe this was the world the outsider was trying to show me all along. For years, I'd held together a shadowy band of ex-mercenaries, street kids, and refugees through Discipline and a bit of black magic. On the fringes of a city that ate up innocence and weakness. Maybe today was the end of that small world. I thought of Jessamine Colvin's hands shuddering as she lost her grip on life. Whatever doom was coming, I deserved it. My people didn't.